Yeah, that that's definitely the, probably the hardest part of, of the CDK is that you don't have any guardrails in place. You really can do pretty much whatever you want to because it is a general purpose language. That's one of the things that actually really brought me to the CDK was that I could do anything with it that I wanted. Um, being an application developer originally with .NET and then with um, uh, Node and other things, I always felt very hampered by what I could do with HCL and CloudFormation and other things. And the development process and the debugging process always drove me insane, having to figure out, well, is this intrinsic function really doing what I think it's doing? And I don't really know until I do a deployment and it fails. Um, there are certainly a lot of anti-patterns out there. Premature abstracting is certainly not a new problem that is unique to the CDK. This is just a general programming issue. And the it seems to be the organizations, the teams, the, the people who have adopted the CDK that, like me, have come from more of a traditional application development background that already know sort of what these issues are, how to solve them, uh, the, the red flags to look out for, don't seem to struggle with it as much. Whereas, um, you know, uh, system operators and people that came from the sort of the other side of the DevOps world that came from more of the traditional infrastructure management, people who were very familiar with writing probably Terraform or Bash scripts or Perl scripts or those other types of things may struggle with it a little bit more. And it was one of the reasons why I was very adamant from day one of trying to get involved with the CDK community, because it was very clear early on, you can really shoot yourself in the foot in the very wrong way. Uh, as far as specific anti-patterns that I've seen, there are certainly a lot of code bases that I've come across that were built in a way that I wouldn't have built them, but I wouldn't necessarily call that an anti-pattern. That's just an alternative way of, of getting something done. Certainly some stylistic things that probably don't line up, for example, variable casing and how you pass things from stacks to constructs to lambda functions and other things. The only real anti-pattern that I would say that I've ever come across was the use of context and using context as a configuration platform rather than really it's only valuable use, in my opinion, is as a local cache. Uh, context is a great thing, provides a lot of functionality within the CDK itself, but it's not really a great API to work with. You you really have to build a lot to work with the context if you're going to use it as a local cache. The other thing that it's so sort for, of replaced uh, So for is, folks who haven't uh, used the CDK and uh, they're not reach, you know, they, they don't know what the, the context is, um, object yes, is, can you maybe just uh, briefly explain the, what is the context object? Well, what can you do with it? Yeah, so so context was a rather sort of uh, big picture item within the CDK where at any point within your CDK code, you could go back to this context object and it would give you some sort of configuration information. So for example, it could tell me a VPC ID that I need to know for a given environment, or it could tell me some information about that VPC that is in a particular account or in, in a particular region. Um, but it has, has gotten horribly abused. I, I certainly have abused it a few times within my own code bases to use it as sort of a synthesized parameter to say, well, um, here is that VPC ID that I want, and I pass it in as a context value. So context can be read and it can be generally set. So when I synthesize code, I can pass in a context value to say, uh, you know, A equals B, key equals value. And then later on within my CDK code, I can go back and say, okay, what is the value of this particular key? And it doesn't really function any better than just environment variables or what really should be done, which is just coding these things directly into your CDK app, stage, stack, or context directly, or excuse me, construct directly. Um, local caching is really only its real value. So my advice for most people is if you think you want to use context, you probably don't. You probably just want to code things directly and stay away from context as much as you can, unless you're providing third, uh, L2 constructs to the CDK directly.